This chicken and potato dish is one you truly deserve. With easy to find ingredients in one pan, it all comes together really quickly and dinner is ready in no time. Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Lola and if you want to know how to prepare this dish, please keep watching. So these are the ingredients we're going to use. First, we're going to marinate our chicken and these are the things we'll use. Of course, we have our chicken and then in this plate, I just have my aromatics, aromatic vegetables that would flavor my chicken very well. So my spring onion, I have um, curry leaves there. I have my green chilies, atarudo and onions. Instead of the curry leaves, you can use basil. I also love to use coriander. You can also use parsley if that's what you have. And I usually get all my herbs from spa. I always show you guys. I'm just showing you here to show you. I got this from spa. It's label, labeled basil, but sincerely to me, it smells like curry leaves that you can get in the local market. And the green chilies as well. That's um, the green chilies. Now I have this ginger garlic um, and turmeric paste that I make myself. And so we're going to also include that. So these are our seasonings um salt black pepper curry coriander powder paprika thyme um this um spice mix for chicken and then bouillon cubes now you can use these or any ingredients that you prefer you don't have to use those particular spices and i just put my um all my vegetables in that um blender and then in my little food processor and then i you know blended it up coarsely now you can chop this up with your you know knife or you can use a blender but try not to add too much water so that your chicken doesn't steam when it's cooking it actually like bakes and browns up so i just mix that paste with my seasonings and a little oil and then we're going to mix that with our chicken so i'm going to add half of it into the chicken because the rest of it is going to be used for the potatoes and the carrots the veggies basically so in a pot here a pot of water i have my potatoes and carrots these need to be pre-cooked if you put them in the oven with your chicken the chicken will be cooked before these are cooked and most of the time they won't even cook to your liking or to, like perfectly be cooked so it's better to pre-cook them pre-cook your veggies um your your carrot as well sometimes i use pumpkin so i just look in my fridge and i see what vegetables do i have if i have um zucchini i use that as well it's basically potatoes chicken and veggies you can see that i have my cooked potatoes and carrots here then I had some cabbage. I was like, why not? Let's throw that in. Then I have this really yummy smoky sausage. And then here I have um, some more spring onions, regular onions, and the curry leaves for garnish at the end. So we're going to go ahead and put everything in our tray. I told you it's a one, one pan dish and it comes together really quickly. You want to make sure that you oil your pan so that nothing sticks and even if it does it doesn't you know stick too much and then we're just going to put our chicken pieces on one side and then um, we're going to put that in the oven so my oven is um on like 375 um because i want the skin of the chicken to to brown up you know if you put it too low it would you will just have like steamed chicken <laughs> the, the, the skin won't really brown up so i put that in the oven for like 10 minutes and then i put the rest of our marinade on my potatoes and carrots that have already been pre-cooked and you just cook them till they're done not too soft just done just you know your knife goes in and comes out clean and then i have my cabbage here as well i'm just going to put some 
oil and some salt just for seasoning so i want to season everything individually so that they all have you know good flavor so you can see that the chicken baked for about 15 10 to 15 minutes and then i go in and put my potatoes face down and the reason i cut my potatoes like this is because i want to have enough surface area for the potatoes to brown up really nicely i will tell you here that if you have a wider pan it's better for you so that you don't crowd them like i did but this is the exact pan that goes into my oven anything bigger than this won't go in so i just have to use what i have and you know we're all about using what we have on this channel using what we have to achieve what we want yeah so it worked it works all the time i make this dish all the time and every time i put it on my instagram people are like how do you do that how do you i'm like don't worry i'm gonna do a video and here it is and by the way if you're not following me on instagram well i think you should because i usually drop inspiration for dinner lunch you know baby food and all that kind of stuff so yeah so we've put everything else our sausages have gone in our potatoes and carrots and then this is going to go into the oven if you noticed i had not put the um cabbage yet but i put that about five minutes to the end of the cooking on one side and you know i just let everything cook for about 45 minutes to 50 minutes i went in turned the chicken turned the, the potatoes as well and you can see some of them have browned up nicely the chicken has also browned up nicely and that's our garnish that we just sprinkle on it just to give it that fresh flavor fresh onion fresh spring onion fresh coriander leaves and everything just comes together nicely so i decided to go ahead and make um gravy now with this you can use you know any sauce you can use um pepper sauce to eat this you can even eat it by itself but i decided to make gravy and when i do you know bake chicken or anything like that and i want to make gravy this is how i do it the same pan where i baked everything i just put it on my gas my stove like literally turn on the heat and put it on it and then i put a knob of butter and some flour and just let that you know cook up just for like a minute and then i add water now all that on the bottom of the pan that seems like oh it was burnt chicken no that is flavor i mean of course as as long as it wasn't like burnt burnt but you can see how everything just comes together nicely the flour thickens it the butter gives it a nice flavor so i added some salt and a little ketchup i don't know if i showed you that part but i added a little ketchup so this is this is basically how i make my okay yeah how i make my um gravy when i bake chicken i just put flour butter on the pan put it on the stove heat it up add some liquid if you have chicken stock you can use that if not water works well and here we have it our chicken and potato bake you can see the gravy there really thick and rich and luscious you can sieve this if you want it smooth but i don't mind the bits and pieces of the chicken and everything there and yeah this is our dinner really easy goes by really fast and dinner is ready in no time if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one Bye.